Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone to the channel IT Simplified. Hope you're having a good time with your family and friends and liking these sessions. In today's video in Azure, I'm here to show you how you can do Azure Virtual Desktop Deployment all by using Intune Enroll Devices and by using Azure Active Directory Authentication. For today's demonstration, I'll be using the resource group with the name ITS as you can see on the screen and uh, all these uh, environments will be deployed in ITS virtual network. I already have a user group with the name AVD user group in which I have two users, user one and user two, and the uh, admin for this environment is Girish. If I can show you on the Azure portal side, there are certain prerequisites which I've already implemented. For example, I've already, if I can go under Azure Active Directory, I've already assigned the required licensing for this deployment. For example, I have two users, as I said, U1 and U2. I've already assigned E5 licensing for each. So this needs to be there so that uh, we can manage them through Intune. So that is already implemented. Other thing that I've done is if I go back to Azure Active Directory, Under Mobility, MDM and MAM, you can see Microsoft Intune. I've already MDM user scope. I have changed this to some from none. And I've already included uh, the user group in this case. So that is already uh, taken care of. And one last thing I want to show you. So as of right now, there's no devices which are enrolled, but uh, if I go under Intune, so right now you can also see that uh, there is no devices in place, right? But uh, once we deploy the AVD environment, you should be able to see machines that will be enrolled automatically but there is one more thing i want to show over here still under devices under device enrollment if i go to enroll devices and for device enrollment manager i've added myself who is the administrator for this account so with these things already in place let's go back to the azure portal and we're going to go to azure virtual desktop and let's go and create a host pool. As I said that we're going to deploy the entire deployment under the resource group with the name ITSRG. So I'm gonna pick that. Let's give the host pool name. This should be straightforward if you have seen my previous videos. And under location, I'm going to use uh, Canada Central. Validation environment, make sure you switch the button to yes. And for the host pool type for this deployment, I'm going to use personal. Assignment type, I will leave that to the default. And for the virtual machine, I'm going to add it uh, later on, but let's go and create the workspace. Rest everything, I'm going to the leave to the default. Let's review and create. So the deployment was successful. Let's go to the resources. And before we add the machines, as you can see that we have not added any machines, let's do certain changes before we start adding the machines within the host pool. So I'm going to go to the RDP properties and under advanced, I'm going to add one property here. And it is target is AAD joint colon I, colon one. And let's save this. Okay, so the host pool was updated successfully. And the other thing I want to do is I want to give the admin and the user access for the administrator and the users. For that, I'll go to the uh, resource group. It is ITSRG and under access control, I'm going to add role assignment 
and let me just search for virtual machine administrator role virtual machine administrator login role and I'm going to give this role to myself Okay, and uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'll add one more role, which is going to the user role. It is virtual machine user login. And for this, I'm going to give this to the AVD user group under which my user one and user two are. So let's select that, review and assign, and let's assign that. All right, so with this in place, let's go back to our host pool under Azure Virtual Desktop. Expand this. And what I'm going to do is now I'll go to the session host and let's add machines here. Under the basic, everything is grayed out for you. This is going to be personal deployment. Let's go to the next, which is virtual machine resource group already selected and uh, the name prefix let's keep it simple and standard I'm going to keep it ITS virtual machine location Canada Central for this deployment I'm not going to worry about any redundancy and I'm going to use the image from the gallery which is going to be I'm going to use Windows 10 Enterprise version 20 H2 Gen 2 and I'm going to pick just to keep the cast on since it is just a test I'm going to pick DS1 version 2 so let's go and pick that and I'm just going to add one machine for this uh, testing purpose. I'm going to disable the boot diagnostic and I already have the virtual network with the name ITS VNet in place it, so I'm going to pick that and uh, under domain to join I'm going to pick Azure Active Directory and this time I'm going to enroll VM with Intune so that we can manage it. So let's go and pick yes. And for the virtual machine administrator account, let's provide the credentials. Review and create. The validation passed successfully and let's click on create. All right, so seems like the deployment was successful. So let me just go to the Azure Active Directory and see the status of the device. So if I go to devices, you see I have one machine and ITS zero and it is enabled. It is Azure AD join and uh, it is enrolled in Microsoft Intune service. And I can also see that under my Azure virtual desktop, if I go to the host pool, open my host pool, there is one machine within the session host and you can see that this machine is available. Uh, what I can do is I can assign this to the specific user or to the group. So I can go to the application group, desktop application group. And under assignment, let me assign this to AVD user group and select. All right, so this has been done successfully. And if I want to go on to my endpoint manager, so uh, under the Intune, I should be able to see that device. So let me go there and you can see that there's one Windows machine over here that is also there, right? So seems like it is working. Now what I want to do is I want to establish the connection. So I'm going to log in uh, with the user with the name user1 and try to access that uh, uh, machine which has been uh, assigned to me. So let's go and open that up. So I'm using desktop client. Let's go to subscribe.
All right, so as you can see that I'm logging into the machine. So let's wait for this to boot up. So as you can see that as a user one, I am now logged in into the machine, the machine that has been assigned to me. Uh, let's do a further bit of configuration by going into the endpoint manager. So let's go and uh, see what we can do. So you can see that uh, one Windows machine has been enrolled over here. If I go to apps, And if I go to the windows, let's go and uh, add, and uh, we can add uh, applications from here. You can go and uh, uh, add the apps from Microsoft Store app, Microsoft 365 apps. But for this demonstration, I'm going to just pick a line of business app, which you might be having. So let's go and select that. And select the package file. For this demonstration, I'm going to assign Putty for this user. Let's go and pick that. Let's go and say OK. And uh, you can go through some of these uh, steps. You can just give the name. So let me put it, say, Putty. And uh, let's go and go to Next. And for this, I'm going to assign Let's go and assign this to the group with the name AVD user group and select it. Next, and let's go and create. Okay, so the application was created successfully. It's uploading the, uh, the package. And the application was saved successfully. So that's good. And if I go under devices and go to say, actually not there, let's go to devices back and uh, under windows. This is the machine that I have within the host pool. Let's go and expand this. And if I go under the managed app right here, you can see that uh, the installation status is it's waiting for the installation if I go and expand this you can see uh, you know what is the progress for this what uh, while it is getting installed let me go back to the session over here and let me just show you the status of this machine so I'm going to go to my command prompt and if I just type in Yes, fetch and give you the status of this machine. You can see the this machine is obviously Azure AD join with no DCs or any other domain services that uh, we have. Right, so you can see that it's Azure AD join name of the device. You can see the device ID, the thumbprint, and uh, the device status is successful. You can see that configuration over here. Right. Let's go back to the endpoint manager and see. You can see that it's still waiting for the install status. Uh, if I go back to my machine and go to apps and features say, once that is installed, you will see that putty under apps and features. So you can see, right, I push that from my endpoint manager and uh, my Putty is there even though the installation status is showing in progress. So this gives you an idea about how we can push applications right from the endpoint manager in into and roll devices, all uh, and it is all Azure AD join with no domain services, right? So this will take some time, but my my uh, application is over here, and after a certain time, this should change. The status should change to that it is already deployed. So this gives you an idea about how you can enroll your devices into Intune services within Azure Virtual Desktop with all cloud identity by using Azure Active Directory uh, joint. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.